Hello Latin 3. We're going to work on a new tense today. I should say this evening. It's late at night. I'm working at my desk. Here we go. I want to make a new tense for your conjugations. I'm going to work with this verb right here. Amo, amara, and amawi. Verbs have what we call principal parts principal parts, and the principal part we're going to be working with today is number three. We're going to be working with the third principal part. Now, you know three tenses so far. You know the present, you know the future, you know the imperfect, and those three tenses I've written under the second principal part, which we call the infinitive, and I have written these three tenses under the infinitive because it's the infinitive that is my starting point for these three tenses. I cut off the RE. But when I want to make the perfect tense, I'm going to start with the third principal part, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the letter I, just like that. And when I cut the letter I off of the third part, I make what's called the perfect stem. And the perfect stem is the permanent part of the word that I'm going to be using as I construct my tense. Well, unus, duo, tres, and don't ask me why, but I'm going to write unus, duo, well, you can't ask me because I'm filming this, so too bad. I'm writing one, two, three, twice. Unus, duo, tres. Now, take your perfect stem right here and write it down six times. Amav, 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 and Amav. All right, now I need some endings. It turns out that the perfect tense has its own unique set of endings. Here they are, hyphen I, hyphen I-S-T-I, hyphen I-T, hyphen I-M-U-S, that's an M, M hyphen I S T I S and hyphen E R U N T. That looks pretty good. These are my six endings. Here's how they're pronounced in English. I know that's an I with a macron over it or a hat, but here's how you pronounce it E isti it. Imus istis a runt. Students, you need to learn these six endings. I was going to make a joke, but I decided to let it go. All right, these are my perfect, perfect, personal endings. Perfect, personal endings. And I'm going to draw, i got to get a ruler out for this. I'm sorry. It's just the way I am. It has to be done right. What's the Latin word for order? It's a flashcard, I think. Ordo. There has to be ordo in what we do. So we're going to make some nice pretty lines here and we're going to make it neat. Just like that. And just like this. And I'm even going to draw a couple more lines in here because I don't know when to quit. Alright? That's just the way I am. I don't know when to quit. Bam, I'm going to draw one more line. Bam, how you like it now? Now, what do these endings stand for? Well, you know T stands for she. Could also be he, could also be it. You know air runt with an NT. You know that's going to be they. Ouch, i got to write outside the box. I'm no good outside the box. Okay, I know TIS is you. Now, what's... Well, I'm going to come back to that point. I'm going to say something to you. You know M-U-S means we. We. Now, you got to learn these six endings. E, is the it, imus, is this a runt. What do you think the letter I with the hyphen means, or uh, with the make one over the top means? Well, it's the first ending in the chart, so it probably means I. What does is the mean? Is the means you. Mr. Darden, why do they have two U's? And I'm not talking about sheep. <laughs> because one is singular. Hey, you! I'm talking to you! 
one person, and hey you, you guys over there, I'm talking to more than one person. So this is plural right here, and this is singular. You gotta learn these six guys. Now, all you gotta do is take these endings right here and add them one by one, add them one by one to your perfect stem. What was the perfect stem, Mr. Darden? Third part minus the I. So here we go. I. I S T I I T. I M U S. I S T I S. E R U N T. Just like that. All right. What do these six words say? The perfect tense is a type of past tense. So we're going to write I loved with an ED. You loved with an ED. I think you're getting the hang of this. He loved with an ED. Might as well finish it up. We loved. You loved. And they loved. Now, because you're Latin three honors, I will tell you there is an alternative to these six translations. I will pick on one. Instead of saying he loved, you could say he has loved. Instead of saying they loved, you could say they, you're not going to say has, they has loved. So what are you going to say? That's right. They have loved. So what we've made today is the perfect tense. You take your verb, you look at the three principal parts. If you want to make the perfect tense, you go to the third part, drop the I, make the perfect stem, write the perfect stem down six times, and then go get your perfect personal endings. E is the it. Emus istis a runt and add them in succession to each of the perfect stems and voila, finis est. We're done. Translation: the perfect is a type of past tense. Add an ed. Is there an alternative translation? Yep, right here, and right here. That's it for now. Voila.